So till now we have learned a lot about ESP Now. Like what is ESP Now? How does it works? What is its range? And we also tested ESP Now in several different configurations like one to one, two way communications, one to many communication. And we even made a very interesting projects using each configuration whose video link you can easily find in the description of this video. So we already learned a lot about ESP now, but we are still remaining with one configuration, which is many to many configurations. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can send the data using ESP now from multiple ESP32 boards to other multiple ESP32 boards. So it will be like a mesh communication where each device can send data to multiple other ESP now boards under the same channel. And in the end, we'll be making a very small prototype project in which we'll be controlling the bulb of all the ESP32 boards using each ESP32 board individually. So each device will be sending data to all of the devices. So now if you're interested in learning this communication protocol, well, just stick around as we'll be starting this video after a really short ad. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, if I tell you one very interesting feature of the software, then here in LTM Designer, you can design rigid flex PCB. Now, what is that? So till now, you must have designed the PCB, which has like rigid, like solid PCBs if you are not able to bend. But here in LTM, you can design a PCB in which some of the parts are rigid, solid, and some of the parts are flexible, which can bend and the PCB can, you know, uh, we can bend it in a twofold manner, just like the modern day smartphone, right? So this is a really very interesting, useful and unique feature of the software. Well, you can also try out this and many other unique and interesting features of this designer software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on the link, you'll get access to the free trial version of this software. So go ahead, try out the free trial version of LTM designer software. So now if you watched the previous episode of the series where we learned one to many communication in ESP now, then in that episode, we used one special MAC address, which will be used to transfer data to all other ESP now devices simultaneously. And that special MAC address was zero cross FF. So that's the very important learning that we're going to use in this episode, because in this particular episode, we need to send data to multiple devices at a time and all the devices can send data to other devices. Okay, so we need to send data to all other connected devices. And for that, we'll be using that special Mac address that is zero cross FF. So we don't need to add the, you know, individual Mac addresses of all the devices. Okay. And as we are using that universal Mac address, uh, the best part is the code for all the boards will remain the same because we don't need to change the MAC addresses at all. Okay. So that's the uh, good thing about this particular uh, many to many configuration. So now let me take you to the code part of the project and let's try to understand how the code work for many to many configuration. Okay. So here is the code for the many to many communication using ESP now. So let's try to understand this code, like how does it works? So first of all, the necessary library declaration like ESP now and Wi-Fi dot H pretty simple. And after that here, we have defined the pin numbers like the button on and off are attached to pin 13 and 12 and the LED, which is nothing but the relay module is attached to the pin number 14. Okay. After that here, we have declared a new data Boolean, which is a flag to send data only once. Now I have used this flag uh, just to make sure that one day device uh, will send the data only when the button is pressed and it, it should not send the data continuously for that I have used this flag okay after that the most important thing which is the universal MAC address now as we already discussed in the intro part of the video uh, which is to send the data to all the devices we have to use the special MAC address zero cross FF this will make sure that all the devices under the same uh, channel of ESP now now will receive the data regardless of any MAC address okay so that's the universal MAC address uh, after that, uh, here we have declared one boolean a variable, pretty common. And here we have defined one structure in which we are using only one single variable, which is nothing but the button status. Uh, that means whether the on button is pressed or whether the off button is pressed. If the button on is pressed, we'll be sending the data one. If off is pressed, we'll be sending the data zero. Okay, so that's the structure that we have created. And we have defined two different objects of that structure, my data and incoming readings. So my data will be responsible for sending the data and incoming readings will be responsible for receiving the data. Okay, so we have used the same structure, but two different objects. Okay. After that, uh, uh, let us go on to the uh, setup part. Okay. Input output declaration, pretty common Wi-Fi mode as a station, pretty common initializing the ESP. Now registering the send and receive callback function. So send callback function is on data send and receive callback function is on data received. Okay. So first, uh, let's try to understand uh, the loop part and then we'll go into the 
each of the functions okay after that here we are registering the peer which will be only zero cross ff so we need to define this for only one time okay uh, now we are in the loop and here in the loop we are checking the status of the button so if button on is pressed we are say, uh, storing the data as one inside the button underscore status okay and uh, if the button off is pressed we are storing the data zero under that same variable okay so that's the variable like this is how we are storing the data and after that uh we are sending the data using the function called as esp now send okay so this is the function responsible for sending the data and the broadcast address is zero cross ff so it will be sending the data to all the nearby esp now devices okay and if the data is successfully sent it will say send with success if not it will say error sending the data okay so this is how the we are storing and sending the data and now let's just see how we are receiving the data and what we are doing after we receive the data and for that we will be going inside the receive callback function which is on data receive so as soon as we are receiving the data first of all we are storing it inside the incoming reading structure you can say uh, and after that uh, according to the data of the button status we are just turning on and off the led which is nothing but the relay module so if the data is zero we'll be turning off the relay module if the data is one we'll be turning on the relay module so that's the simple code i uh, use for many to many communication and this single code will be uploaded to all the es sp32 boards because there is no change in the mac address okay so yeah that was pretty much about the code so yeah that was the code of many to many communication using esp now protocol and after that i uploaded the exact same code in four esp32 boards and now to test this communication protocol in some working condition i made a very small project in which i connected two push buttons and one relay module with each esp32 board according to this pin configuration so after making the connection with all other ESP32 boards, now we are ready to test the many-to-many -many communication protocol using ESP now in action. So as you can see, I'm able to control the bulbs connected to the other ESP32 board using one single ESP32 board. And similarly, I can turn on and off all the bulbs using any of the ESP32 board because all ESP32 boards are communicating with all other ESP boards that the many to many communication protocol so yeah that was a demo of sending the data to multiple esp32 boards now in case if you want to send data to just one esp32 board well you have to enter that mac address manually of that particular receiver esp32 board and to get the code for that well you can refer the one to one communication using esp now i'll leave the link for that as well in the description the code will be exactly the same okay so yeah that was another episode of esp now and i think we have covered almost all the configurations using ESP now I think so well if we are left with something do let us know in the comment section of the video and we'll definitely try to make that episode on ESP now as well and talking about the practical application of this ESP now then we have decided to install one project here inside our new studio which will be uh, you know working on ESP now and I'll be definitely making the video of that particular project once it gets completed and with that project video with that tutorial you will come to know how ESP now can be implemented in real life as well so just stay tuned for that video and do subscribe that channel to get notified whenever we are done with that particular project video and yeah do click the like button if you really enjoyed this esp now series and well that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video explore learn share with me techie sms